you do it with me? Be my coach? <coughs> Janet. Well, I know you're very busy and that you have lots of time, you know, demands on your time, but you could try, please. Usually the, uh, the coach has to make a commitment to be there during delivery. Pretty please for Amanda's sake? Sure. As long as the sky isn't caving in, I'll be there. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, thank you. I thank you, Amanda. Thank you. Well, what time? When are the classes and where do we be? Five o'clock in the solarium. We'll be there with bells on, right? Right. Thanks for stopping by, Ruth. I'll, I'll see you at five o'clock. Yeah, so long, Ruth. My coach. If anybody wants you to be someplace at five o'clock, you just say no. Hello. Hey, Dylan. It's me. Just checking in one final time to say adios, amigo. What do you want? What you said, a civilized farewell to my good friend, Detective Dylan. Uh, hang on. It's a business. It's important. I'll be Hurry. right back. What are you talking to civilized goodbye? Well, let's put it this way. Someone with a head on their shoulders intervened on your behalf. What? Yeah, for a generous sum, my silence is guaranteed. I'm out of your hair, amigo. Taking off tonight to South America. Hey, thanks to your benefactor, it's adios, USA. Hola, luxurious early retirement. Well, you wish well, what, me well. What, what, what are you talking about? Somebody bought you off. Who, who, who bought you off? I want to know. Yeah, I want to know. I thought you might. Okay. Your benefactor and mine is your blonde bombshell girlfriend. Well, how typical of you to drag Angelique's name through the mud. I'm not mud slinging. I'm just pointing out the glaring similarities in our situation. You know, nothing you could do would surprise me. Your ugly little attempts to entrap Erica. I mean, they clearly prove that there's no tact too low for Adam Chandler. I didn't come here to trade insults, Dimitri. Oh, as I recall, uh, you weren't even invited here, so please leave. Not without reminding you that we could be allies. We could form a truce. We could work together. For what purpose? To preserve our mutual investment. Enchantment. <laughs> you, you are, you are a two-faced hypocritical liar. Yes, which makes me critical to the success of this project. I'm not asking for friendship, Dimitri, uh, but a promise to keep the line of communication open would suffice. You just do not know when to quit, do you? Yes, another reason that I'm very valuable. Should the leadership situation deteriorate even further, I might be willing to vote my shares with you. You have got to be kidding. I'm dead serious. I am not. On your side, Adam, and I never have been. And no amount of Erica bashing or plotting will change that. Are you on Erica's side? What, what is it, Sabrina? Miss Kane is here. There was a rumor that the enchantment board was convening a very impromptu meeting here. But as usual, it appears that Adam is holding someone hostage. Well, Adam was just about to leave. Let's all just keep our cool, shall we? You're not allowed to convene a meeting without consulting me. Did you consult me about your appearance on Market Street Week? He's trying to woo you to his side. Oh, Erica, be careful. Your insecurities are showing. Oh, shut up. Has he succeeded? We were just simply discussing future policy. Yes, I'm quite sure you were. Well, anything he said about me, of course, to me, is a lie. I hate you. Oh, Erica. Look, 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 look. Uh, I've had enough of this. Yes, so have I. I am sick of your schemes and your maneuvering, and I frankly have had it up to here with None your threats, sweet, Adam. Sweet, sweet, uh, hyperventilating. Uh, look, look uh, didn't anyone ever teach you how to treat a lady, Adam? <laughs> that woman's no lady. That's, that's my wife. <laughs> Well, then try showing a little respect and stop attacking. Thank you. Oh, how touching. I mean, selling your wife out is low, but assassinating her character at the same time? I mean, you have no conscience, Chandler, no ethics. Ooh, bravo. Bravo, Nick. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. But isn't she something? 
Oh, and you've totally misconstrued my take on my wife. I adore her. I, I respect her more than any other woman alive. I couldn't possibly assassinate that character. It's too strong. She's too unique. He's insane. Oh. Well, look, please, let's call a moratorium and accusations at all. Pledge to rise above past mistakes. Look, I apologize for Adam. I mean, obviously, he is too ill to apologize for himself. Rise above past mistakes? Do I look like I just fell off a turnip truck? Hey, hey wait, 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 wait a second here. This, this haggling should be done in the privacy of your own home. Yes, of course it should. You're right. And once again, I apologize. So, this meeting is adjourned. Planted potatoes on Good Friday. Man, even if it rained, he was still out there. And then even if it snowed. Well, anyway, look, before I lay you down for your nap, I'm going to take your blood pressure, okay? You're a snob, Angelique. I am not. I didn't inherit millions of dollars. My old man's a gardener. I don't care. You care plenty. That's why you don't love me. I love Dimitri. You love his money. I'm the one you really love. Keep your hands off of her. Dimitri. I told you to stay away from her. I don't take orders from you, Merrick. Please don't fight. She's only with you because you're rich. No, she's with me because she belongs with me. And I told you if you come near her again, I will make you sorry. Do you understand me? Now you get out and you stay out. You will never have to see him again. Everything he said was a lie. And I know that. I'm in love with you, Dimitri, not, not what you own. Actually, I have never doubted. Angelique, your blood pressure is slightly elevated. Are you okay? You look sort of lost. Dimitri. Yes, well, I'm sure that whatever they were arguing about, Dimitri can handle it. He defended Erica. He stood up for her, all right. He's great that way. It's me, too, long ago. So you're remembering the time when Dimitri stood up for you, too. We were happy. Well, it's good to remember happy times before you sleep. The color drained right out of your face when you answered that call. Who was it? It's none of your beeswax. What time is Ruth's class now? Was it Natalie? No, it's not Natalie. It's nothing that concerns you. Was it Derek or Mimi? Look, I gotta take care of some things. I can smell a rat now. Tell me who called you and why. Janet, there's nothing to worry about here. Will you just put a sock in it? Just trust me once. Is that too much to ask? Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hell, man, what does it take? Well, I won't do it again, I promise. Hello, Trevor. Hello, Trevor. Hello, Janet? I brought you some more fashion magazines. Is everything okay? Yeah, super gym dandy. How come the only time I have visitors is when you come to see me? Janet, I visit you three times a week. <laughs> I beat her at Scrabble and she beats me at checkers. <laughs> it's perfect timing. Look, I, I gotta take care of some things. But you just got here. Look, it's very important. No problem. You are a, a, a godsend. You have a good time. And I'll be back in time for Ruth's class. Five o'clock. Don't yep. be late. Yep. Class? Lamont's class? Trevor and I are having this baby together. major 
other idiot sneaking over there trying to trash me at Dimitri's, trying to weasel your way into his life. Well, he, he knows you. He reads you like a book. Well, in case you think you have him wrapped around your finger, think again. I wasn't the only one evicted from Wildwood. Oh, no, but you heard him, didn't you? He jumped to my defense, and you know why? Because he knows I'm right. You are nothing, you are nothing but a power-mad maniac. And you know what? You're going to self-destruct someday. The sooner the better, no doubt. Absolutely. I don't know how you live with yourself. Well, when you're wealthy enough, you can sort of make yourself up as you go along. Oh, you're despicable. And honest, as in Kent. Which is the reason you love me, if you were candid enough to admit it. And you're infuriating. Oh, and I admit that I am sorry. I regret having threatened to vote my shares against you. I beg your pardon? It hurts you, Eric. I, I could see that. I, I, I'd rather cut off my arm than hurt you. You are going to withdraw them? Well, no. Sometimes a quick amputation is better. What about you? Uh, about, well, about here. But don't make me do it, my darling, I'm begging you. Oh, no, I'll do it for you. You get out! It'll hurt me worse than it hurts you. Oh, no, it won't. I'll amputate now. Get out! Get out! I'll amputate. I can do for you? Uh, you, you can leave me alone. Yes, sir. You're supposed to be sleepy. No use pretending, Angelique. I know you're awake and upset. Something has upset you. Something Nurse Marsh said. Tell me, what did that interfering thought say about your mother? She's not nothing. Whatever it is, no matter how awful, you can tell me. No. I can get rid of her. I had a bad feeling about her from the beginning. I told Dimitri she was not qualified. Lori is nice. Hiring that tramp was a major error in judgment. Look at her, the subject of rumor, <laughs> gossip, recanted accusations. And who knows, she could be a murderess. I like her. <laughs> to say the least, the strumpet is incompetent. I trust her. You know what you're talking about. I'll have a fired immediately. No! You will not fire Gloria. You shouted. You will leave me alone. What are you doing here? The neonatal unit, just to follow up. No, no, you followed me. No. You followed me to the park. You talked to that guy. You paid him off. I have to go. I know it was you, Nat. Uh, I have work to do. I don't know what you're talking about. You still think I killed Will Portland? Don't you? Don't you? Yes. I know you did. 